Hey guys, Nate from Rad Dad here. I just wanted to say that we're starting a new web series called First Day in the Gym. And here we'll just kind of give you a very basic workouts. When it's your first day in the gym, you walk in there and you see all the equipment and you think to yourself, where do I start? Where do I go? What can I do? It's a little bit overwhelming the first time you go to the gym and all the you know equipment kind of looks the same or maybe getting on free weights might be a little bit intimidating. So we just wanted to put together some short little clips that show you just a good foundation, uh, maybe four to five different movements to get um, to exercise different body parts of your body. So here we go. Let's check out uh, your first day in the gym back day. The first thing we have here is the assisted pull-up. When you're pulling these, you want to think about pulling your elbows into your middle of your back. Um, on all your back movements, you want to be thinking about driving with your elbows. It will help isolate your back the most. Um, instead of like trying to pull with your wrist up, it just seems to help a lot more if you're doing it with your elbows. You'll feel it. Uh, you want to feel the muscles contracting, the blood pumping into your back. Um, and you'll get the most out of uh, exercising that way. Uh, on this one, just try to go for around 8 to 10 of these. Next movement we have is a seated cable row. You want to try to keep your back straight, shoulders down, chest up. Same thing, focus on pulling your elbows backwards. Uh, your hands are just hooks, so you're just trying to pull pull the uh, you know the handle back into your belly button. Really focus on um, feeling your lats pull back, your whole back get nice nice squeeze. Uh, you should feel this running right down your lats. Same thing. Try to hit about eight to ten reps, where it's getting pretty difficult towards the end there. Next up is we have the lat pull down. Same technique kind of as the row. You want to have a straight back, chest up, pulling with your elbows down. Try to think about almost trying to somehow bend that bar and touch your elbows together behind your back and that will squeeze your, your lats and, and rhomboids the absolute most. Um, out of your back so that will get you the the most benefit there um, it's easy to try to go super heavy on this and kind of whip it down but it doesn't help you at all um, so just go nice and in light trying to get uh, eight to ten reps out of this and make sure you can feel your back moving My last movement for back is the single arm row. Here you can see I just get a nice, nice stretch and I'm pulling this up um, almost like my hip area. Same thing, I'm moving, trying to focus on moving my elbow up, letting my, uh, my lat and middle back kind of stretch on the way down and contracting everything on the way up. You should really feel this entire movement on that whole left or right side of your back. I use the bench to prop myself up, uh, my opposite hand to support me so I can really focus the most on pulling that weight. So that's it. Um, those four movements are a, a great start to a, a back day. Um, I suggest you start with those. Uh, once you get really comfortable, then you can incorporate some more um, advanced movements or just even some more just regular movements into your back day. I typically like to end my back workouts with one bicep movement since your whole back movement is going to be uh, pulling movements 
it is working your bicep throughout the day. So I'll just kind of do a finisher of just one like regular curl movement, nothing crazy, just, you know, to get the blood flowing. It's a nice finisher. So thanks for watching the video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.